Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mgrmusic.com and in this video today we're gonna to look at how you guys can start dialing in a good tone that you can start to tweak to your own needs. For the video today I'm gonna to be using the Black Star Silverline Deluxe but all the concepts and principles we talk about in this video you guys can apply to any of your Black Star apps. Tone is a very subjective topic and when you first start playing it's quite hard to know what a good tone is. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a bunch of different tones that cover a bunch of different genres. And we're gonna use some classic players for a reference point. With the tones we create from these reference points, you guys can then tweak them to your own need. So if there are any players in this list that you're very interested in, you can use that tone as a basis to craft that into your own thing. So the first thing we're gonna look at today is an American clean tone. This is a very high headroom style tone, reminiscent of players like Stevie Ray Vaughan. So for this tone, we're using the clean warm voice of the amp. I've got the gain set to halfway, but the channel volume is pushed quite high. The bass and treble are pushed to about seven and eight, and the mid is just above midnight. We're using the ISF all the way over at the American side and the 6L6 response. Over here, we've got a bit of reverb on, the reverb level is set to halfway, the resonance and presence are set at halfway too. These are gonna be left the same for the whole video. This tone works particularly well with single coils and particularly Strat star guitars. So I'm using my Shergold Masquerader for this because it's got the same pickup configuration as a Strat. I'm using the neck pickup for that tone. If you like those big high headroom American clean tones and you're also a fan of players like John Mayer, you can flip your Strat star guitar into the fourth position, which is the neck and the middle pickup together. Using that same tone, we get that John Mayer-esque, slightly hollow, slightly scooped clean tone. Next up, we're gonna look at another classic single call tone. This is gonna be a 1960s British style clean tone, similar to that of Jimi Hendrix. So for this, we're sticking on the clean warm channel. The gain and the volume are gonna stay the same, but now I wanna put some of those mids back in. So I'm gonna bring the treble down to just above halfway, but I'm gonna put the mids to about seven. Now this is a British tone, so the ISF needs to go all the way over to the British position. For the amps that Hendrix used, they were primarily EL34 or KT66 style amps. So we'll start with the EL34. For this tone, I'm gonna to use the neck pickup. Now we're gonna to flip to the KT66 response. KT66 tubes have a little more headroom and they're less compressed than EL34s. So what we're actually gonna hear is the slight boost in volume, but because the channel volume is also pushed all the way up, we're gonna also introduce a slight bit of breakup. This is very similar to what a real KT66 amp would do if it was pushed hard. Next up, we're gonna dial in a great blues sound. So we're gonna use the clean, bright channel for this and the gain and the volume on the channel section are going all the way to 10. We're gonna push the mids for this, but bring the ISF over to the American side and start with a 6v6 style response. This is reminiscent of a Rolling Stones kind of American blues sound on those little pushed tweed style combos. <laughs> This small American combo style tone using the 6v6 response is brilliant for blues playing. So if we push that to the crunch channel and bring the game back to halfway, we've got a really great blues lead tone. Next up, we're going for a big British classic rock tone. So I've got a humbucker loaded guitar and we're gonna think late 1960s to mid 1970s. So I'm gonna keep on the crunch channel. The gain is good on halfway and I quite like the EQ settings as they are. Might dial the mid back just a little bit and add a little more top end. I'm gonna push the ISF all the way to the British side and I'm gonna start with some EL34s. <laughs> Using 
the same settings, we can actually move over now to the KT88 response. This is going to boost the headroom even further, so we're going to get a big, big open sound, but with a bit of drive pushed in. This is great for those ACDC style riffs. If you want the clarity in the chords, the headroom really helps. <laughs> Because KT88s have the highest headroom of all the responses on the silver line, you would have noticed that quite a jump in volume there. This is great for those big ringing chords. Now as we transition from the 1970s into the 1980s, we've got the birth of the British heavy metal scene. So we're going to look at a new wave of British heavy metal style tone, kind of similar to that of the band Iron Maiden. So we want to go to the Super Crunch or the OD1 mode for this. So I'm going to go with the OD1. I'm going to keep the gain fairly low, so I'm just under halfway, and I'm going to bring the channel volume back to three quarters of the way up. For this kind of tone, I want quite a bit of mid and quite a bit of treble. So I'm going to keep those on about eight and the bass on seven. And I'm going to go for the EL34 style response. The ISF is once again in the British side. <laughs> Now we're going to dial in an American metal style tone. For this tone I'm going to go to the OD2 channel but I'm going to keep the gain quite low. I'm going to bring the mids back to about halfway, the ISF's going back to the American side and we're going to the 6R6 response. This American metal tone is great for those early thrash metal riffs, it's perfect for playing along with those early Metallica records. <laughs> There you go guys, there are some basic tones you can use right now on your Blackstar amps. I use the Silverline Deluxe for this, like I said, but you can apply this logic to any amp that you might own from the Blackstar range. I didn't go into the effects this time because obviously the effects are something you can add to taste. The only thing I had there was a little bit of reverb. So with the ISF, the gain control, and the EQ section, you guys can get pretty close to dialing in all these tones. Each of these tones was inspired by various artists that you can use as a reference for getting that sound in your head. Using all the features on your black amps, you can dial in these tones and tweak them to your own taste. So maybe you want a tone a bit like Metallica, but with a bit more mid, or maybe a cleaner version of the Iron Maiden tone. You've got the template there to tweak this to exactly what you need. So please go away and do that. Use these tones as your starting point and craft the sound in your head. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let us know down below in the comments how you found these tone templates and what you guys have done with them. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amps on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please check out mgrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all over the country just waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.